What was the load? Moving information from memory into a CPU register. What is a store? Moving information from a CPU register into memory. How's that feel? So let's look at a store. Now let's look at a store. Let me ask you a little question. Let me ask you a little question. You have three locations in memory to put information. Okay? If you were a computer that looked kind of like this, you're going to be putting information into memory. Let me ask you first, what information in the CPU are you going to put into memory? Look through all of your registers and tell me if you're ever going to put the instruction register into memory. Why would you do that? Nobody cares. Okay? That's your program. No one wants to see that. Memory address register? What? That's an address. No one needs that. Program counter rocks, but no one really cares other than the CPU. Oh, what about A and B? Yeah, these are holding information that you are manipulating. You are messing around with. This is what you are doing. So it's always going to be store A to memory or store B to memory. There's nothing else. Okay? These registers, IR, MAR, PC, CCR, these are internal registers that are necessary to perform the fetch, decode, execute cycle, but they're not user registers. You don't get to mess with them with like switches and buttons. You can potentially put information into A and B with switches and buttons, but you don't mess with these guys. These guys are under the control of our control unit. Part two of the question. Where are you going to put this information? You've got three choices. You can either put it in program memory, data memory, or input output ports. Do you want to put it in program memory? Why would you make a program to overwrite your program? Okay? Does it, you're thinking about it. It's like, well, I could crash somebody's computer. Don't do that. Okay? That's mean. Okay? Go to federal prison. <laughs> then you can also put it into data memory. Absolutely. That's, you put information out there all you want. That's your variables. Should we also put it to output ports sometimes? Absolutely. That's how we see the outside world. What about input port? That don't make no sense. Okay? Let's forget we even said it. Now, this means if you ever write a program. Now, you're going to write your own program. You app, nobody's checking your work. You absolutely says store A to 00. zero and your computer will crash, okay? Because you've overwritten your opcode. There's no protection in here. There's no protected memory. We're not that sophisticated. It is just rock and roll at your own risk, okay? Here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is it. We're warming up. I come up to you, and I say, store A to E0. Store A to E0. You go, wait a minute, You're, you did direct. Okay? We need an addressing mode. The addressing mode is how you treat the operand. You can use immediate addressing, you can use direct addressing, or you can use the other one that we forgot already. We'll come back to it. Should we use immediate or direct? If, what does immediate mean? Yeah, it means the operand is the data. And you're going to store to the data. You're going to store data to the data to the what? That don't make no sense. Okay? When you use a store, you do not use immediate addressing. It doesn't exist because it doesn't make sense. You are always going to store to an address. Your address better be either in data memory or in an output port. Okay? I have decided that we are going to do an example where we store A to E0. Okay? Why would I store to E0? It is an output port. Now, you have a good memory, Colin. If you didn't have a good memory, you'd be like, where am I storing this crap? You would have to go back to your memory map, which is the assignment of all the addresses to what they are in our system, in our memory system. It turns out that we have mapped our output ports to E0. So we are going to have this as an output port, which is driving just some pins. Maybe you hook your pins to the LEDs. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Okay? But we are writing to an output port. Oh, my God. I didn't mean to say writing. <laughs> I meant to say storing. Is a store the same thing as a write? No. 
A write is a single memory access. Okay? If I do a store, am I going to also do reads? That's like some backwards there. That's end of the two type stuff. Local. Okay. Will I do a read from memory during a store execution? You're telling me I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put information from the CPU into memory and I'm gonna read from memory. Yeah! You gotta fetch it! You get not only you gotta fetch the opcode, you gotta fetch the address of where you are gonna store to. Okay? So actually a store requires two reads, one to get the opcode, one to get the operand, and then a write, okay? So read, read, write. This is going to take three memory accesses. Let's look at how it's going to look. I have inserted this randomly into memory at 0, 04. Okay? I have chosen the opcode for you, 96. Okay? And 96 is the opcode, E0 is the operand, which is the, the address of where we're writing to. Why did I choose 96? Completely random. I could have chosen anything I wanted. No reason at all. Now, here's what it looks like in memory. 96 followed by E0. And I am executing code. The prior, prior instruction left the program counter in a perfect state by design. Program counter is pointing to 0, 4. That's from the prior instructions. Thank you, prior instruction. What do I need to do first? I need to go get the opcode. I don't even know what instruction I'm executing. So I'm going to take 04 and put it out on the, the address bus. So I'm going to put it into mar. Mar now equals 04. That 04 is out on the address bus. And I now can get 96. 96 is coming over on the data bus. Okay? And it is going to go where? Where should I put this code 96? I don't even know what it is. All I know it's an opcode. IR. So it's going to come all the way back to here. And I got myself a 96 in the instruction register. I'm not quite done with that fetch, though, am I? What should I do? Increment the program counter. Thank you. I'm going to take code 05. I'm going to 04 and make it 05. I incremented the program counter. I did that because I know at the next location of memory, it's either going to be the operand or it's going to be an opcode per design. Now, I don't know what it is yet, but it's time to decode the instruction. 96 tells me a whole pile. It tells me this is a store from A into memory. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go read from 05. Who holds 05? How do I know what address? It's in the program counter. I'm going to take program counter and I'm going to stuff it into the memory address register, which now provides the address 05. Here comes E0. E0 is now on the data bus. It is the address of where I am going to go right to. What should I do with E0? It's an address. Put it into MAR. So now E0 is going to come cruising back over. 0, 05 is now overwritten with E0. Oh boy, we are getting ready to go right. But we need to do one more thing. What should I do? Increment the program counter. So I go to 0, 06. What is that 0, 06? It's the opcode of the next instruction. I don't know what it is, but I know where it is. OK. E0 is now out on the, on the address bus, and I am looking at E0. What should I do? This is the first time you've done this. I need to put A, which contains just some random information, CC for no reason, out onto the data bus, and now I can write. So this is the first time we've came across this. We need a way to get A out onto the data bus. For now, we'll just abstract it and say we will have a way to do that. CC comes out on here and ends up going bang to the bang. And I did it. I asked myself this, am I done? I have taken the contents of A and written them out to address E0. 
It took two reads and a write. Am I ready to execute the next instruction? The answer is yes, because I left the program counter pointing at 06. So even though the memory address register is now pointing down to E0, who cares? Because I know in the next instruction, I'm going to take 06 and put it into MAR and go and get that opcode. How's that feel? Woo. Those are the loads and stores that we will have in our computer system. In fact, you know what we're going to do? I think we should have a load A immediate. I think we should have a load B immediate. I think we should have a load A direct, a load B direct. I think we should have a store A direct and a store B direct. Do you agree? We now have six instructions just by the class of loads and stores.